Uh, hey guys, I'm Ms. Grimm from Final 2 again, and welcome everybody to another edition of the Reaper River Movie Reviews, and I'm going to give y'all guys another review for, this time, for Now You See Me Too. Uh, now this is the, now this is the sequel to the 2013 uh, film, Now You, the first Now You See Me. Uh, it stars Jesse Eisenberg, Mark R Ruffalo, Woody Harrelson, Dave Franco, Daniel Ratcliffe, and uh, Lizzie Kaplan, who is, uh, who is, uh, who in the other movie, uh, there was another, there was a, there was another girl, uh, uh, there was another girl, uh, I, Isla, uh, I love, uh, Fisher. Now she was unable to reprise her role as Henley Reeves uh, due to pregnancy, so Lizzie Kaplan got uh, was repla replaced her for this film. So this is one year after the after the uh, the Horseman uh, outwitted the FBI and stuff like that, and you know everything everything seems a little quiet uh, with. You know the four horsemen. Uh, Jesse Eisenberg's character is trying to. You know they're they're they've been awaiting uh, Jesse Eisenberg, Woody Hellerson, and Dave Franco. They're they've been awaiting for their instruction from the secret secret society. Excuse me. Uh, called the Eye. Um. So. What happens in this film is that during the film you uh, is that during the film there's a bunch of stuff going on. Um, you know they the horsemen get a new me they got a new member uh, played by, by Lizzie Kaplan as I said before. Uh, so the horsemen. They get involved in this little. Uh, they get involved in this little situation involved, involving uh, an individual by the name of Walter Mabry, played by uh, Daniel Ratcliffe. Uh, so what happens is is that he, Mabry, Mabry, along with his father, conspires to take down the. Uh, uh, to take down the the horseman, you know, along with this other character, of course, you know, uh, there was another character uh, by the name of Thaddeus Bradley, uh, played by Morgan Freeman, who in the first movie was sent to jail by the by Mark Ruffalo's character Dylan Rhodes, who we come to find out is the who we come to find out is the son. Of a, of a dead music, of a dead magician by the name of Lionel Strike. Um. So. The horsemen, they're trying to, you know, all this stuff happens, and then we see, you know. Um. I'm sorry, guys. My my mind's all not not there right now. I apologize. Um, but yeah, they meet these two people, uh, in this, uh, magic shop, the horsemen do, um, a woman, a, a Japanese woman named Lee, or a Chinese woman named Lee, I mean a Chinese man named Lee, and his mother, um, uh, And a bunch of other stuff happens, uh, and that I'm not gonna get into. Uh, I felt that this movie did pretty well. It it, it did pretty well. Um, I kind of think that it could have been a lot better. I I kind of believe that this movie could have uh, done a little bit more better than that. What than than it was supposed to. 
Uh, uh, Lizzie Kaplan did one hell of a good job with the film. Um, and, you know, I think that... It did pack. It did pack twists. It, it it had twists and turns involved in this film. This movie was a really really good thriller uh, to go uh, to uh, see or to watch anyway. Um, damn, I can't even talk. I can't talk today. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, my mind's all not not all there right now. But this movie did well. It did well uh, for how it how it was, um, and everything else. I believe that the movie that that the movie could have done better, though. I, I I really really believe that that there was a lot of stuff going for it. The one thing I think that that did that that struck me as odd was the fact that they had Woody Carrollson playing two roles in this film. Uh, he played him he played uh his actual character Merrick McKinley and he also played a nerd another character uh in the film of McKinley's brother his twin brother and I, I felt you know the the twin brother was kind of cartoony in a way and I didn't really like that so it kind of turned me off a little bit um but everything else you know Daniel Radcliffe's character, he played one hell of a good as a villain. Um, I felt that I felt that Michael Caine did really, really well in his character. Uh, Morgan Freeman um, did really good as Thaddeus Bradley. I love I love that character from the first film, and I believe that he did a good job in that, and that he did a good good job in this one as well. Um, as far as the people playing the horsemen, Jesse Eisenberg, he did good, a uh, good, a uh, good job with this. Uh, I felt Mark Ruffalo did what he needed to do. You know, we get, we finally got a chance to see who, uh, we finally get a chance to see who Lionel Strike was. You know, we finally get a chance to see, uh, what all, what, what, what went down with, the death of, you know, Rhodes' uh, father. And, you know, there was a lot of stuff, there was a lot of good stuff going for it. It kind of felt, it kind of felt like one of those heist movies. That's what it kind of felt like. But, in the end, it, it did a really good job. Uh, it did have problems, but I, I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. I felt that it could have done a little bit better. Uh, as I said before multiple times, I apologize for if I'm repeating myself or saying the same things. I'm trying not to do that. But this movie did one have a good job. Um, and, you know, that's how I feel about the movie. Uh, if you guys have seen this movie, if you guys have seen the first one or, or, or I don't know if you guys have, have seen it, th this movie or not. Um, let me know in the comment section, what did y'all guys think of Now You See Me Too? What did y'all guys think of this movie in general? Or what did you guys think of the first movie? Comment in the comment section, let me know what you guys thought of this film. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys thought. I am Mr. Grammar Problem 2. I will see you on the afterlife. I'm gonna try to do better with my reviews in the in the next in the next review. Uh, and yeah, so we'll see what where that goes. I'm Mr. Grammar Problem 2, and I'll see you on the afterlife. Peace.